With Website.com, you can quickly and easily create your very own website with no coding experience. In this video, I'll show you how step-by-step -step, to create your own website for your own business with Website.com. Hi everyone, today I'll be walking you through creating a website for a landscaping company. So you'll see here that we're on landscaping.website.com. And the first thing we can do is go ahead and click create your website today to get started. So this will take us to the themes page. And here we can choose a theme as our building block for our website. So I like this one called landscape design. So we'll click on this to view the demo. If you like what you see, you can go to the top right and click sign up and make your site like this. And now we can choose our website address, also known as a domain name. I'll do that now. I'm going with MacArthur Landscaping. So then we can check availability. And you can see that this is indeed available. So we can go ahead and click next. On this page, you'll be asked to choose a plan and also fill out some login and payment information. So I'll do that now. And now that I've filled out all of that information, I can go ahead and click create my account now. On this page, you'll see that I have two links, one to view my website now, or one to build my website now. For me, I'll take a short break and wait for my account activation email. So now I've received my account activation email, so I can click build your website now. And you'll see I'm now on the website.com web editor. But before we can get started editing it, we have a quick tour to walk through. So we'll do that now. The first step of the tour is our design section where you can see we have color schemes. Here you can choose a color scheme to fit your website. Step two is you can edit various elements of your page simply by clicking on the corresponding element. Step three is your navigation menu up here. Step four are your undo and redo buttons to undo and redo the changes you've just made. Step five is the publish button, which you'll hit once you've finished editing your site. And finally, we have the help section over here with a link to our YouTube channel, as well as other helpful links. So we're now here on our landscape design template and we can begin building our website. The first thing we'll do is get rid of this slideshow here in the middle. So we can click on this and in this little menu here, click the trash icon. Click OK, and we'll be adding an image in its place. So our Add section is accessed over here in the left sidebar by clicking on Add. And you can see we have a bunch of different categories here where you can add things to your website. So we're going to be adding an image. So I can click on that and choose Image. And in this menu, we can either upload our own image or choose from our diverse selection of stock images. So I'll click on stock images and how about I go to exterior design and let's choose this image here. You can see we have that here on my mouse and I can simply put it in the place that it was before, but you'll notice it's smaller. So to resize an image, we can click and drag on one of these little white dots that surround the image. So I'll click on it and move it over here. And there you have it, our image. I'll walk you through a few other elements of the web editor as well. So in our sidebar, we have our pages menu where you can see the different pages we have on our site. You can also reorder the pages. We have, as I showed you before, our add section. We have our design section where you can see here we have our color schemes section open right here. So with this, I can choose different color schemes and those will change the colors that make up our website and you'll see those changes reflected over here. But for now, I like the template default. We also, as I said, have our navigation menu here. The next thing I'll be doing is changing this logo up here in the top left to MacArthur Landscaping because that's the domain that we chose. So I can edit that by clicking on the text and choosing edit in this little menu. So I'll click that and you can see this brings up our text editor where we can make different edits to the text, such as different font types, 
font sizes, bolding, italicized, spacing, colors, you name it. So what I'll be doing is typing MacArthur Landscaping. But you'll notice that we have some overlap, so we need to resize our text a little bit. So I can go ahead and highlight it and choose size right here. And how about we go with 16? That's a little bit too small. So let's go with something like 24 and 26. That looks good. And now you can see we have our MacArthur landscaping logo up here. The next thing I'll be doing is replacing some text on this page. So to replace text on the page, I can simply copy and paste text in from an external document. So I'm going to be pasting in text right here. You'll notice that this template comes with a bunch of industry specific content. The text on this template is free to use if you so choose, and it gives you a good starting point. So I can click on this and choose edit text, and then I'll simply highlight this and I'll open my external document, which you can see I have here. So I'll be copying and pasting in this text. I'll move this over so we can make sure it fits. And how about I change the color of this to red. Excellent. Now we'll head to our next page, which is our about page. You can see we have our about us page right here. So I'm going to be doing the same thing by changing this image and changing the text here as well. So to change the image, I can click on the image and delete it. Now I'll be adding an image, as I did before. But this time, instead of choosing a stock image, I'll upload my own image. So I can click on this. And choose my image here from an external source or on the computer. So I have my garden JPEG right here and I can click use image and you can see this is here on my mouse cursor and I'll do the same as I did before and resize it. Now I'm also going to be changing this text, but instead of me simply replacing the text, I'll add a new text box so I can click on it and delete it. Now I can go to add, choose text. And you can see we have a bunch of different texts that we can add here, which go along with the theme of the template that we selected. These texts are simply a starting point and you can make changes to them as you see fit. So how about we go with title three and we can just put this here. I'll resize it and I will paste in my own text. What you can see now is this sort of overlaps. So to increase the size of our content section, we can go down here to where it says content, this little blue arrow, and click and drag and move it down. That looks good. The next thing I'll be doing is adding a testimonial page. And I'll be doing this using our add pages tool, but I'm going to be cloning a page. So I can go up here to the top left, and how about I choose our about page, and in this menu here, I'll choose clone page. And this page will be called testimonials. And I can click done. Now before we begin editing this page as well, I need to make a few changes to the settings of this page. So I can go up here to the top left to the pages section again and click on this gear icon. And here I'm gonna edit the meta title of the page. So I'll make sure that this says testimonials. This will help with the search engine optimization of your page if all the pages have the proper meta title and proper meta description. So I can click done. And I'm going to be doing the same thing for this page as well. I can click on this, choose edit text, and paste in my own content. And how about for this, we choose a different font style for this text. 
So I can highlight it and let's choose section title. And you can see that it's all in red now and it fits one of our font styles of the page. Now you'll notice that my testimonial page up here was added to the very end of my menu. I want this to be appearing before the contact page in my menu. So to rearrange the menu, we can go back to the pages section of the sidebar and we can click on this little icon here beside the page and drag it above the contact page. But now you'll see that this menu is cut off a little bit, so we'll have to increase the size. And I'll simply drag it over. And we can decrease the size of this as well. See, testimonials is too big to fit on the menu, so instead what we can do is click and drag and move this smaller again. And you'll notice the icons now all fit because we resized the menu bar. Finally, what we'll do is edit our mobile pages. This is editing our pages so that they fit well on a mobile screen. So what we'll do is go back to our about page and then up here in the top left, we can click the little icon that looks like a phone. This will bring us to the mobile editor. And you'll notice that the image is outside of the guidelines of the mobile phone. These guidelines on the phone are what you want to stay in between if you want your website to look nice on a phone or any mobile screen. So what I can do is click on it and drag this down back to size. But you'll notice that it's really zoomed in now. So I can click on it, and in this menu, choose Pan and Zoom. And I'll just zoom out. Now you'll also notice that the text that I added goes off the screen as well. So first thing I'll do is click and drag that up, and also resize it so that it fits. That looks good. Next, we'll go to our testimonials page. And you'll notice the same thing here. So I can click on this and resize it. Then pan and zoom and zoom out. Drag this up. And resize this as well. Also move this little bar down too, just to keep with the design of the page. That looks good now too. You can see that all the elements of this page fit on the mobile screen. Then we'll go to our home page. You can see that this image that we added as well also goes off the screen. So I can click and resize this as well too. Now pan and zoom, hit done. And I'll just move this down as well. And you can see this all fits nicely on the page. Now before we can hit publish, we have to ensure that all of our mobile pages are activated. So go over here to the pages section and enable mobile view. Click on. This will ensure that your mobile pages get published as well as your desktop pages. And that's it. We've now created a website for MacArthur Landscaping, our very own landscaping company. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us or check out our other video tutorials. Last thing you can do is go ahead and hit publish. And then all pages. And you're done. Thanks for watching.